Before the video begins, I just want to say happy birthday to my grandfather. He turned 68, and it's absolutely amazing. He's such an amazing grandfather. Just can't wait until he can come here after all of what's happening in around the world. So yeah, just wanted to make that announcement. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to build the perfect, most ultimate vacation to Dubai. And before we jump right in, we just completed the setup. The whole setup is done. It's, it's awesome. Here, I'll show you what I mean. So, we've, we've completely upped the LED strip game. Now we have two. So turning them both on, it looks, it looks just absolutely awesome, but off, it's a whole different level. It's just placing this down right here. Let's jump right into it. This is a new chair. It's awesome. This is like a nice gaming chair. It has nice padded leather and nice, nice material. The material is absolutely awesome. It's just an amazing upgrade from what I had before. So this is going to be the new setup. Hope you guys enjoy it. I certainly do love it. And while we're talking about planning the ultimate Dubai vacation, I'm going to be putting a few things into consideration. The amount of fun the price obviously and convenience those are three things that are very important when planning a trip so enough of me talking i'll just start explaining so first of all um something that is definitely a must is flying on emirates airlines yes they're a little bit more expensive but you are going to get like comfort like you haven't you can fly all over the world into dubai without any inconveniences there it's it there is no better other option than to fly with emirates second of all um it's going to be the booking the right hotel so we, when we went to dubai we planned so that our hotel room would be in north dubai so we could easily visit whatever is up there in the north Dubai, explore the canals, explore the markets, and also go down into more modern southern Dubai, explore the Burj Khalifa and the Palm. So I would say it really doesn't matter where you stay. Just find a great price for it. I certainly found north Dubai convenient. It was convenient enough for us to travel wherever we wanted. We went to the Dubai Museum and the markets the first day, and then the museum, and then we went to the Dubai Mall and the Burj Khalifa the next day. So that worked out pretty well. Um, there was no inconveniences. Everything was spot on. And um, that's really all I have to say about hotels. Next is about Planning how you travel around, that's going to be a serious part of your vacation, especially in Dubai since it gets really hot in the summer and really cool. I mean, not really cool. It's going to be a little bit toned down in the winter, but winter prices are going to be triple as expensive as summer prices. So I recommend even though it's a little hotter, like way hotter in the summer, it's definitely going to be worth it. It's cheaper. You can just get a taxi or Uber, wherever you want. Um, the Dubai taxi is one of the biggest taxi fleets in the world. It's very convenient to get around to places. So I recommend not walking. That's a big mistake that we made the first day. We walked one mile. You were like, eh, it's just one mile. We could walk to Dubai Museum. But it was like 125 outside and definitely not whether to be walking we were all like waiting to get inside the museum because there was ac there's ac everywhere so i just recommend just take a taxi don't don't try to walk it's definitely not worth it it's definitely not worth walking 
Okay. Another thing is don't be restricted to Dubai. Um, Dubai is not the only place. There are deserts out there, there are mountains, and there's Abu Dhabi. There, you can't just like set your whole trip to Dubai because you're going probably you're going to be going from like Europe, United States, like somewhere really far away, and it's not you won't be coming back for a while. So I recommend just setting a week to visit all of UAE. Okay, so attractions. This is a very important one because that's why you're going on a vacation to see the attractions. Um, there are lots of things on the list. Dubai Museum definitely shows the history of Dubai. It's definitely an awesome history. I don't want to explain it, spoil it, go visit and going boat riding. So you can go boat riding th across the Dubai River. It's one Durham to go on like a boat without you just yourself and i think it's like five or ten to go like on your own so that would be absolutely cool obviously you've heard the gold market and the spice market they're absolutely amazing mm -hmm. saffron it's really cheap it's awesome you have to go outside the airport into a place called Deira, dubai um that's the awesome place to get gold or spices definitely spend your time doing that at night it will look really cool and then what we did for our second day we went to the dubai museum that's where i took that photo of that bentley and rolls royce me standing in front of it i was at the front of the dubai mall did i say dubai museum dubai mall dubai mall the world's largest mall um yes that's right in city center so it's maybe a 15 to 20 minute drive from our hotel room to the dubai mall it's connected to the burj khalifa we went to the Dubai Mall, visited the Dubai Aquarium, which in my opinion wasn't that good, but it's so cool to see how they fit it inside. Dubai Mall is huge, so you're gonna get lost. But it's conveniently marked, everything's really easy to access, and there's air conditioning. Food, there is lots of options for anyone. There is the local food, and there's also like Taco Bell or whatever you want to eat. It's definitely you you don't you're not limited to your choices of food in the mall the aquarium was absolutely cool and then we reserved a spot to go to the top of the burj khalifa onto the 126th floor or something and it was definitely one of the best experiences ever watching from up there i made a few time lapses i did vlogs i did all like taking amazing photos the photos are awesome you can look at the whole city and outside the desert it was spectacular. It was 200 dirhams per person, which is converted to US dollars around 66 to 67 dollars, or maybe even in like the 65s. But I don't know exactly, but that's translated. You, I reserved, we reserved the time for the evening so we could see it in daytime and at nighttime. The sunset, you're not going to expect an awesome sunset. Let me just tell you here. You're not going to be seeing an amazing sunset. It's really hazy there. The heat makes it really hazy. You're just going to see the sun go down like with an ugly haze. It's not going to look nice. But at night, the city lights up and it's going to be a beautiful sight. It's definitely a spectacular sight and something you shouldn't miss when going to Dubai. Third day, we went on a desert safari. Um, we booked with a good travel agent. They're a Pakistan company. Um, most of the people in the UAE, they're not citizens. Only like 11% are citizens because you have to be born there and you have to be native to um, the United Arab Emirates to have a citizenship there. So you'll see most people are just like from outside, from nearby areas, India, Pakistan, all over. And aside from the topic, um, um, so the Desert Safari, it was... It was definitely awesome. I, I was really under-exaggerating it. Um, it was epic. We went on a 4x4. We went on something called dune bashing. Where you, you jump over the dunes. Like, actually like flying and like doing like crazy maneuvers, drifts and all that. It was absolutely epic. I also went to ride in an ATV. I got to 
ride an AT I got to drive an ATV with my brother. I have some photos of that too. I don't want to share the photos. Um, if you guys want to see my photos, please comment down below. Um, and if you want to see my photos, I'll definitely share like all my photos, not just like the ones I've shared in previous videos, but like the whole experience because I, I vlogged the first two days and then I didn't vlog anything. I didn't vlog Abu Dhabi. I didn't vlog the supercar showrooms, the exotic car dealerships. I didn't vlog any of that because I just wanted to enjoy it. But I'm going to be talking to you about it. Dune riding in an ATV. It was, it was, it was awesome as usual. Um, we went dune riding. That's definitely also a must if you want to go. There is a lot to explore. That You've got a really big open area which you can drive. It's super fast. You can jump dunes, which I didn't do, but... You could if you want. You're definitely going to get sand in your face. We got stuck once because I tried to rev it and then I got it stuck in the sand. And I got sand sprayed all over me. That was, it was hilarious. I, I was scared at the moment, but it was funny. It was definitely funny. Fourth day. Fourth day. It was Abu Dhabi. Um... Actually, I might go back to the third day. Um, it was booked on a package, so you have a lot of stuff to do based on what kind of package you choose. Just look up Desert Safari, anything. Okay, now fourth day. We went to Abu Dhabi. We took a drive to Abu Dhabi. Um, this one was not paid for because of my grandfather's company. is based off of, based in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. So we got one of their vehicles and they drove us. The places Abu Dhabi it's super it's it's definitely a different feel it's a different feel um we went to the Emirates Palace which is like like a really rich palace and we also went to the Qasr al Watan, which is um called Presidential Palace um it's like where they hold all the p political summits and all that inside it's awesome I was I always joke around saying the bathroom, the toilets are made of gold. Everything is made of gold. It's just like pure gold. Like I was I had to use the restroom and the bathroom, it's the each stall is the size of my bedroom. And the toilets are made of gold, the faucets are made of gold, everything is gold. And it just shows you more of the history of the UAE and how awesome it was. Um I want to explain more into it. And then Abu Dhabi, we went to Ferrari World, but you can really see Ferraris. There was one Ferrari parked outside and I saw a Nissan GTR. But Ferrari World, if you want to do it, do it. I wish we sort of did more of Abu Dhabi. There's the Louvre, if you like art. Um, there is Ferrari World. I already said Ferrari World. I'm sorry. I meant the Yas Marina Circuit, Um, if you like car racing. The... There is the F1 racing over there. It's definitely, it's definitely cool. Okay, fifth day. We did another tour. We went to the Palm Jumeirah. Basically, you have to take a, you can't actually drive on the Palm Jumeirah. I mean, you can, but to get to the Palm Jumeirah, it's not like a lane bridge. You have to go under the, under the Gulf, the Arabian Gulf. I forgot the name of the straight. Um, yeah, Strait of Hormuz. Um, you have to go all the way under and into the Palm Jumeirah. It's it's really cool. It's just really cool to see. There's the Atlantis, the Palm. There's lots of hotels, but unless you really have like a feel for the rich life, it's you you spend like an hour and a half there. That's it. We we came out. We went to the Burj Al Arab. There's a beach over there. You can't swim in the beach, but you can see see it. And you can see the Burj Al Arab from there, which I obviously did. It was awesome. And then the Dubai frame, the new thing. And then they're also building a new Dubai museum. Um, it's all over Expo about like the Expo 2020 project. And then we went to car dealerships, saw Bugattis. If you like cars, there are three places which I recommend. Princess Cars, the Elite Cars, VIP Motors. 
I recommend those three places. They have awesome cars. But we didn't go to Princess Cars because I don't remember. It was, oh yeah, it was a Friday. So not many people were open because on Fridays it's a prayer day. So yeah, that's really my trip. We actually went from India to Dubai, spent a week there, six days there or five. I don't remember the fifth day we sort of just took a break in the hotel um we took a and then we flew from dubai back to dallas so yeah that's basically all i have i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe let's try to hit a like goal i can't think of one but try to break a like record and yeah thank you for watching